Welcome back. So I've got these uh, Cessna 177 RG Cardinal up on jacks here. We're going to do a quick ret retraction to check it out and make sure everything's okay. Um, you got to go up off the ground. I'm up 17 inches right now. I'm not sure. I think the book says a little bit more than that. So you got to make some adapters. I don't know whether you can buy those or not. I made those years ago. I think they fit a 210 as well. They screw onto the spar so you can jack it up. When I jack it up, I don't have holes in this jack, so I put, uh, I put a piece of angle iron in there and, and set the weight back down on there so it can't, so if the jack fails, it isn't gonna come back down. I built these jacks probably 30 years ago. Nowadays, you can buy them. You couldn't buy them back then unless they were really expensive. So, and then uh, when I started working on the higher wing airplanes, I built these stands that I just set them down on. They're a little tall. Uh, these are made for a 210, so I have to actually lift the airplane up and put it up on to some blocks over on the floor there. I set the wheel on top of that first. So I have a, a tail weight that I made. It's, uh, these are brake discs off of a locomotive a guy gave me. So three of them, that does every airplane I've ever worked on. And I have it on an ATV lift. So I can actually lift that thing up and down to uh, help hook it up. And if it's not sitting level, I can change the angle and it locks. So it's pretty nice. There's my guard dog coming to check. We didn't go for a walk this morning. <laughs> so I always uh, hook up a battery replacer. So this thing does like about 60 amps. The, this is the thing that they use in the automotive industry when they're flashing a computer on a car so the battery doesn't go dead. And I have a, a Hobby King analyzer on it. It's not working correctly now. It's telling me the voltage. Actually, it isn't because it's not turned on. Let's hang it. Let's turn it on here. There we go. Okay, so I'm, I'm charging this thing up at 13.5 volts and it's taking 9 amps right now so the battery is a little bit low. So... We'll have a look at that because it'll record how many amps it drew to, uh, to do the gear retraction. So I just have that connected directly up to the battery back in there. And uh, this is the pump that runs the system. And uh, it gets filled up right there. That's the, uh, the hydraulic fill and it just gets filled up level. So, yeah, the amperage is dropping pretty quick on this. So... Let's turn the master on. Okay, we have a, uh, a gear light saying that the gear is down right now. I have the throttle pushed in so we don't have to listen to the gear horn when we retract it. I already turned the master on earlier and the pump ran. This uh, switch here, that's the, uh, the squat switch that will not, if, that, if the uh, oleo isn't fully extended, the motor won't run. So I already heard the motor run. I turned the master on. So let's do a quick gear retraction here. So I'll select gear up. And there goes the main gear up into place. Nose gear went up. So the gear sagged a bit for a second and it shut off so the hydraulic pump is shut off so you generally wait a couple of minutes with the master on to make sure that the pump doesn't cycle because if you have bypassing in any of the hydraulic cylinders or a, or a leak at all the pump is going to cycle and it'll wear it out it's not good for it so that'll be something that needs to be addressed so let's go back here to the analyzer and see how many amps that thing drew it says it drew 24 amps, that motor, but there was loads on it already. The battery was already charging, so it's not a true indication. You should, if you waited, uh, it's probably uh, 16 or 17 amps that was drawing because the, uh, there's a few things in, the, in the, uh, the aircraft that are drawing power as well. Okay, so we'll drop this back down again. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to pull the, horn, the throttle back and check the horn. So this one doesn't have a horn, it's got a lady that tells you to check your gear. And we also have the uh, orange caution light on, telling you that the gear is up. 
Okay, so let's put the gear back down. We'll put this uh, back on. And we'll listen for that to stop. Once the gear locks, that should stop. Oh, there we go. Everything's looking good. I'll do a, uh, I'm going to grease this thing and, uh, and check everything over. And the nose gear doors seemed a little bit loose. Not too bad. But uh, I hope you find this helpful. Take it easy today.